Hi, I'm Brian Dickinson, and this training bite will show you how to control UVM simulations with custom, user-defined command line arguments. We know we can set UVM simulation options, such as verbosity, via the command line, but we can use the same functionality to pass user-defined arguments and values. We can then use these values to control a simulation, such as defining reserved address ranges, setting design-wide options such as frame sizes or bus speed, or setting simulation modes where a single command line argument can be used to control multiple UVM configuration settings. These options make simulation more flexible by allowing us to use one UVM test for multiple verification scenarios. A command line option consists of a named argument and its values, collectively known as a plus arg. In fact, plus args are a Verilog feature, and UVM simply provides an interface to this functionality. The options can have multiple values per argument, multiple arguments of the same name in a single command line, and support values other than alphanumerics if the value is enclosed in double quotes. We use the command line processor, CLP, to get these values as strings or queues of strings. We can process the strings or queues to extract individual argument value pairs and then act on the values. We can read all the values of an argument in one call. When reading multiple arguments, the argument values will be extracted into string queues, so we define these. Then we get the current CLP instance into a local handle. Then we can use the getArgValues method of the processor instance. This reads all the specifically named command line arguments as defined by a string and stores them in a queue. The method returns the number of arguments found. So in this case, num is 2 as getArgValues reads the plus myArgValue pair 1, 2, and the plus myArgValue 5. Note that the pair value is stored in one element of the queue, so we'll need to be split to extract individual values. We'll see a method for this later. Alternatively, we can just read the first named argument as defined on the command line. As we will read only one argument, the value is, is stored in a string, so we define this. Once we have the CLP instance, we can call getArgValue to read the first plus myArg option into a string. The method returns either 1 or 0, depending if an argument is found. As this method only reads the first argument, the result is dependent on the order of arguments on the command line, so should be used with care. UVM settings such as verbosity and test name use getArgValue in that the first named argument only is used. Another option is to use getArgMatches. This reads any argument beginning with a specific string here, plus my, and stores them in a queue. Here, num is 3 as the 2 plus my arg and single plus my opt arguments are read. Note for get arg matches, the entire plus arg with both argument and values is stored in the queue and will need further processing to extract individual values. By default, get arg matches reads arguments beginning with a string. But by enclosing the string in backslashes, we can define an extended regular expression to match arguments. Here, slash arg slash will match any arguments containing arg, and so writes the two plus my arg and single plus arg's arguments to the queue. Again, for any matching arguments, the entire plus arg is stored in the queue and may need further processing. One option for processing strings or queue elements is to use UVM split string. This allows us to split a single string on a specific character and write the split strings into a queue. So we use get arg matches to write all arguments beginning with plus my into my match queue. 
Firstly, we separate multiple values in one argument by splitting every element of my match Q on a comma. The split strings are written to a temp Q and then concatenated into a new Q split vals Q. This separates the, the pair value of the first my arg argument into separate elements. Then we repeat the process on split vals Q, splitting on equals to separate the argument and value for every plus arg. Note that the character for splitting each string is omitted from the results. Now we can process my arg val Q to act on the argument values. So that's a quick look at user-defined command line arguments in UVM. I hope you found it useful.